Hi, this is Edward Mendoza, and today I want to talk a little bit about what I usually do when I get really overwhelmed with an assignment. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. Welcome back. Um, the first thing I do when I get into assignment that's at first might seem kind of a little bit more trivial and then the more you get into it, the more you realize, okay, here's the level of difficulty because there is no class that I've seen so far in OMSCS that the assignment is as simple as it you know seems at least at the first pass. But the first thing I, I try to do is just stop working on it completely and just go for like a five uh, minute distraction or whatever that might be, whether it's, you know, just walking around outside for a couple of minutes, um, just physically doing something else. I think the, uh, the biggest problem um, that programmers have in general is that we're too in, you know, in our own, in our own heads uh, for the most part with our work. So it's kind of hard bringing that physicality to it. So doing something physical is always very helpful. It could be something simple like, okay, I'm just gonna go out and you know, take the trash or you know, clean something around me. Just a couple of minutes just to kind of um, try and get unstuck. That's if it's something small. Um, the second thing I do, because this also has happened to me in, in quite a few assignments, is I reread the assignment several times. Even though you think you have an idea what you're supposed to do, they throw in lots of words that um, you know that can be kind of general words. You think you understand where um, where they're uh, they're heading with a question, but then it takes you somewhere else. So, I would say if you're getting if you're definitely getting stuck on a, on a particular area, reread that assignment a couple of times, and then go off do something else, and then come back to it. Even, you know, five, 10 minutes isn't enough, then go off for like an hour or so. But that idea of, oh, I'm just gonna leave it for tomorrow and then just kind of keep postponing it. That's one issue that I see a lot of people having where they, they're just not gonna have enough time for it later on. You know, you'll have to get on the assignment as quickly as possible because you don't know how much time you're gonna be spending with technical difficulties, with glitches, because unless you're on a, a Linux system, there's going to be you know, variations between what you're um, submitting for your assignment versus what other people are submitting their assignment. And you're like really not understanding why nobody else is having this particular issue with some part of the syntax when nobody else in the class is having it. A lot of times I've seen that be the issue. Somebody's on a Mac, another person's on Windows, the uh, professors are on Linux and you know, you don't have enough time to go you know, back and um, jump onto another operating system and install everything else. You just have to kind of keep going. So that, that is also another issue to, uh, uh, to pay attention to. Um, then I usually spend like, I'll, I'll take off a day. If I've been putting in seven, eight hours on assignment, it's like, I'm just hitting these hurdles. It's like, I'm not able to, um, to finish um, that particular assignment that week. A lot of times if I have an, uh, at least another couple of days, I'll, literally just take off for the rest of the day and not even look at one line of code uh, until tomorrow. You know, go out, go, you know, watch a movie, hang out with some friends, just do something totally different that, uh, I mean, I know right now it's not that easy to go out and do much, right? <laughs> but you know, do what you can and try and get your mind off of it as much as possible and come at it fresh the next day. That's extremely helpful. Um, and then finally, uh, what I end up doing, if it's something small that I'm pretty sure somebody else will, you know, have had a similar issue with, I'll go on Piazza. First, I'll start searching to see if somebody has, you know, that particular question. Um, but what I've noticed is their search engine isn't that great. It's like a lot of times it's not going to semantically find a similar phrase. So what I'll do is if I can't find what I'm looking for with their search box, um, their suggested questions on when you're posting works really well. So I'll just literally start making a question and based what, on the keywords that they're seeing in that question, they'll pop up other, um, um, other posts that other people uh, uh, you know, have already made. So if you're doing a, a straight up search in Piazza, I, a lot of times I don't find what I'm looking for. But then if I just make a post, I'll find, you know, then the keywords will kind of find exactly what I was looking for. And then it has the other benefit, you know, the, uh, you know, the rubber ducking, um, 
programming um, idea where it's like if you just voice it out, if you just try and describe the problem you're having, you know, on an email, you're wording out, you know, the issue you're having a lot of times you'll figure out like, okay, well, this is the angle that I need to find out. Maybe this would be the right keyword to either find something on Google or tackle the same problem. So kind of in a nutshell, um, that's what I recommend. So step away from what you're working on for a bit, clear your head a little bit. If you can't, you know, keep going as long as you have another couple of days with it, you know, just completely set it off. And this is why I keep saying start as early as possible. Everybody says it, nobody does it until you realize you're not gonna you know, finish the assignment. So start as soon as possible.